Hey guys, so today I have the all new GLS 550 dressed beautifully in palladium silver metallic with the Zigno Porsche Lane black exclusive leather interior. I recently reviewed the GLS 450 base model. Many of you have asked for a review of this particular GLS 550, so here it is. I hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to give me that big old thumbs up. So the all new Mercedes Benz GLS class is formerly known as the GL which is a full-size luxury crossover SUV manufactured by the German automaker Mercedes-Benz since 2006 with three roads and sitting for seven passengers. It's a lot above the Mercedes-Benz M-Class which is now known as the GOE class. The GOS is the flagship of the Mercedes-Benz SUV line. For 2017, the GOS lineup comes in four different trims levels starting out with the GOS 350D which is a diesel engine, GOS 450, the GOS 550 which is what I have here today and last the AMG GOS 63. The new GOS model comes with a new facelift that features new front air vents, new front headlamps, new grille, revised rear lamps, a redesigned dashboard similar to the one found in the facelift Mercedes-Benz M-Class known as the GOE, new infotainment features, updated cabin appointment, and new 9-speed automatic transmission Core 9 G-Tronic. The new GLS 550 also features a 4.7 liter V8 bi-turbo engine that pushes out 449 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque combines twin turbo and numerous advances to deliver more torque from less fuel with cleaner emission. The rapid motor spark ignition can fire up to 4 times per millisecond while high pressure direct injection can find tuned fuel spray in 0.1 millisecond. Okay, so here's the sticker to the car. As you can see all the standard features as well as the optional equipment that comes with the car. You can pause the video and take a closer look if you like. So base price is started from $93,850. With all the optional equipment added, it comes up to be at $111,680. And that's including delivery and destination charges. Up front, the first thing you'll notice is the redesigned headlamps. The active LED headlamp comes standard on the GOS 550 and feature dynamic full LED headlamps that generate lights that's even closer to natural daylight than by xenon headlamps. It also features active curve illumination and adaptive high beam assist that continuously vary the beam pattern of the LED in each headlamp to help maximize the illumination of corner and straight away without creating glare for other driver. Park assists are also built into the front bumper. At the bottom, you can see the chrome air dam that direct vital air into the engine compartment. And there is the new double bar grille with chrome accents and the huge Mercedes-Benz logo in the middle with the Stronic Plus built into the logo. And there you have the front surround camera. The hood also features two air vents, one on each side, which also help makes the GLS 550 look a lot more aggressive. It also comes with intermittent rain sensing windshield wipers with adjustable speed. Very good looking front ends. Now moving to the side, this particular model comes standard with 21 inch AMG alloy wheels with 295 40 all season tires. Behind the wheel is the set of cross drill brake discs and the huge brake caliber for faster stopping. Brake caliber are painted in silver with Mercedes Benz lettering on it. And there you have the illuminated running boards to ease your entry and exit body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal indicator. Side camera are also integrated into the side view mirror. On top you can see the huge panoramic sunroof as well as the double aluminum roof rails. The sunroof can also be tilted up for ventilation or slide open for an open air feeling. Rear wheels are also 21 inches and comes with 295 40 all season tires. Behind the rear wheels the set of internally ventilated brake discs as well as the silver brake caliber. It also comes with adaptive braking technology, anti-lock braking system, 
as well as Brickus's. To the back, you quickly notice the redesigned tail light with fiber optic effect. Integrated to the tail light is the LED brake light as well as LED turn signal light. Very cool looking tail light. At the bottom is the black rear diffuser that frame the dual chrome tip exhaust. Rear deflector as well as park assist are also integrated into the rear bumper. And there you have the rear view camera which will uh, retract once the vehicle is in reverse. On top is the roof spoiler with integrated third LED brake light. Okay, here I have the remote. On the remote, I have the panic button, lock, unlock, and trunk release button. Now let's open it up and check out the interior. So the car does come equipped with smart access key system with the key in your pocket. Just press the button located on the door handle once to lock. After a few seconds, place your hand behind the door handle to unlock. So all doors comes with self-closed automatic door. If you fail to close it, it will close for you. The exterior color is known as Palladium Silver Metallic, featuring the Zignal Porsche Lane and black exclusive leather interior with premium dark wood trims and silver aluminum trims throughout. Very classy and elegant looking interior. Now let's jump into the driver's seat, start it up and see how it sounds. So with your foot on the brake, push the start button to start. Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2017 GOS 550 have to offer. Under the hood is a 4.7 liter V8 bi-turbo engine with direct fuel injection, 9G Tronic automatic transmission with steering wheel mounted paddle shifter. Formatic permanent all-wheel drive system with eco start and stop function. Airmatic air suspension with high adjustable suspension. It is pushing out 449 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque. Can hit from 0 to 60 in just 5.2 seconds. EPA estimated fuel economy is 14 city, 18 highway, and 16 combined. Very impressive engine. Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. So here is a look at the driver's side door panel. It is all black with beautiful diamond stitch in the middle. All four windows are fully automatic. There you also have that beautiful wood trim there. Windows controlled side view mirror controlled and it does feature folded option door lock and unlock multi seat adjustment and three position memory setting Harman Kardon surround sound speaker and here you have a trunk release button as well as the uh, rear windows control
And there you also have the storage compartment on the door panel. Mercedes-Benz illuminated door sill. And there's the pedal. Floor mat. And here's a closer look at the seat with beautiful uh, diamond stitching on it with the Zigno badge on the back brass. Very nice looking seat. Now both front seats feature heated options and 10-way power adjustable seat with 4-way power lumbar support and a memory system for driver seat we call 3-star position for the seat, steering wheel, as well as outside mirror. The 3-spoke design steering wheel is fully wrapped in black leather with wood trims on top and bottom portion and silver aluminum trims in the middle. Looks and feels very nice. It also features multi-function control side by side for your convenience with control for audio, voice command, as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle. And behind the steering wheel you have the up and down paddle shifter so you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride. And there you have the windshield wiper controlled and turn signal light controlled. Here's the gear shift lever. So to put into reverse, just uh, push it up and the rear view camera will activate on the multimedia screen as well as the over the top camera. And it also comes with a guidance line to guide you through your backup. And you can also uh, pick between different angles of the camera. Slightly down for neutral. And down again for drive. And that's when you can use the uh, steering wheel mounted paddle shifter to change gear and just press the P for park. Very easy and simple to use. And here is a look at the color instrument cluster. It features a 4.5 inch uh, display that lets you control via the uh, multi-function steering wheel. This sharp color display in the instrument cluster lets you scroll through various screens including a trip computer, numerous programmable vehicle uh, settings as well as the audio system. And down here you have the uh, distronic control and the uh, power tilt and telescopic steering column. Over to the left you have the uh, driver side air vent with beautiful aluminum trims and wood trims. There you have the light control and rear fog lights. Parking brake. And here is a closer look at the dash. It is all wrapped in leather. Now this particular model here does comes with the uh, Harman Kardon surround sound system that will blow you and your passenger away with the sound quality. So located centrally, here you have the uh, large multimeter screen mounted on the dash with uh, dual air vents side by side as well as beautiful uh, wood trims on it. Down here you have your different source, volume control on and off, and the uh, preset button as well as your telephone button. Here you have your heated and uh, ventilated seat traction on and off, emergency hazard light, auto start on and off, park and assist, and the heated and ventilated seat for the passenger side. Down here you have your uh, full zone climate control and the storage compartment. Very nice uh, trims on the center console, dual cup holders, ashtray, and a uh, cigarette lighter. There you have the button to change the temperature of the uh, cold drink blue for cold and red for hot. Very nice feature. Alright, here you have the uh, different driving mode. You can turn around to uh, change from a uh, different mode. There you have individual, sport, and uh, comfort, slippery, off-road, off-road plus. And here you have the uh, suspension setting you can push it up and then uh, turn the knob around to uh, change the setting you can uh, adjust the height or lower the vehicle if you like uh, if you like there you have the low range DSR controlled and there you have the uh, off-road controlled it will also show you the uh, setting on the screen there you have the M button All right, so here's the uh, touchpad controller. You can uh, put your hand on the touchpad and uh, scroll it around to move around screen, like such. And there you also have some button on the touchpad. 
Here you can turn the knob around to move around screen, move it up, right down or left, or press down to select. Very easy to use. And this is the uh, navigation system here, as you can see. It is super responsive and uh, move right away as soon as you zoom in and out. There you have the radio. Let me find a station so I can uh, show you how the uh, stereo sound. Very nice sound quality. Media, telephone, vehicle. And down here you have your option, preset, band, and information. Alright, now let's get back into uh, telephone. Here you have your telephone if you have it set it up. Here you have your vehicle setting. Inside you have seat setting, dynamic select, 360 camera, consumption, operator manual, time, and vehicle setting. Alright, now let's go back to vehicle setting. Inside vehicle setting you have your different lightning uh, setting, ambient lightning and your ambient light color. You can choose between three different color. And here's the uh, ionization. Locator lightning. And here you have your system setting where you have your language, voice control, touchpad, camera setting. Bluetooth and uh, etc. Here's the uh, center storage compartment. Inside you have your USB plug and the auxiliary input. And there's a look at the dash once again. Glove box compartment. And there you can see the ambient lightning all around. It is a lot brighter at night. And a closer look at the seat once again. It is very uh, heavily bolstered and very well padded. On top here you have the light control. The one touch open close and uh, tilt panoramic sunroof as well as the uh, sunshade. And like I mentioned earlier, the sunroof can be tilted up for ventilation or slide open for an open air feeling, as you can see. And this is how it looks from the outside. And I think it is a great option to have. And that's how it looks tilting up. Sunglasses holder. And there you have the uh, SOS button to use in case of an emergency. Rear view mirror with three button universal garage door opener. And Alcantara headliner. Sun visor mirror. With a card holder. All right, now let's take a look at the uh, second row seat. So second row seat offers seating for three, as you can see. And it does feature 60 or 40 split folded option. You can fold it into 60 or 40 split for your convenience. And there's the look to the back. Here is a look at the rear driver side door panel. It is all black with beautiful diamond stitch in the middle and beautiful wood trim. Rear windows are also automatic and there you have the manual sunshade to block some of the sunlight out. Start compartment on the door and beautiful aluminum trims there. Aluminum door seal for the rear as well. Alright now let's jump into the uh, second row seat and see how it is in the back. But first let me show you the look to the front cabin. Very good looking cabin. And here's the look to the top. At the bottom you have dual air vent and the full zone climate control for the rear passengers. And there you have the uh, audio and video jack and dual 12 volt power plug. So I'm 5'8", I still have plenty of leg room left with the seat all the way back. That's the rear seat pocket. 
and as you can see there's two TV located behind the front seat and rear seats are very well padded as well it is very comfortable offer plenty of support as you can see here you have the center armrest with dual cup holders on top here you have the uh, air vent the handbar as well as the hook and same goes for the uh, for this side here you also have an air vent there now let's show you how to fold down the rear seat so you can either uh, pull that lever to fold it down and you can pull that lever right there on the uh, seat and then fold this down here for a uh, flat bed if you need it to fold down completely for more cargo space in the third row seat you can uh, touch a button located right behind the second row seat to fold it down or to raise it back up just one touch of a button it is very convenient and there is two uh, more button on the back trunk where you can do the same thing to the uh, third row seat all right now let's bring it back up and uh, get into the third row seat so I can show you how much uh, space there will be so to fold down the second row seat just press that button right there once and you can see it will fold down completely and then that will get you access into the third row seat so now I'm in the third row seat let's bring the uh, second row seat back up and then I'll show you how much leg room I have left so this is how much leg room I have left with the seat all the way back so I have just enough space for me to move around with the second row seat back and I'm 5'8", so if you're taller than 5'8", you'll be cramped up in the back. So for me, I only recommend small children or, you know, average uh, adult to be on the back for best comfort. And you do have the light here in the back, air vent, cup holder, and here's the uh, look at the trunk. So my opinion is this, if you're 5'8 and under, you'll be comfortable in the back. But if you're over 5'8", it is not recommend for you to sit in the back. And again, just press that button once and uh, the seat will fold down. That way you can uh, get out of the uh, third row seat. Alright, now let's pop the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk offer. So as you can see, the trunk in the GRS 550 offers 16 cubic feet of cargo space behind the third row seat. With third row seat folded down, you get 49.4 cubic feet and 93.8 cubic feet of cargo space with both second row and third rows folded down. Down here you have your spare tires and your tools. First aid kit and there you have the hook as well as the uh, panel to cover your personal item while your trunk is locked. Here you have your 12 volt power plug. And here you have the one touch uh, to fold down the seat. And keep in mind you can fold down uh, the seat into many different configurations for your convenience. On top here you have the lock, door lock, and the one touch uh, close. The gas cap is located on the passenger side with the door unlocked just push it in to open and it does require premium unleaded fuel only. So overall the 2017 GOS 550 is a luxury full size SUV with sitting for 7 passengers. It is very luxurious and offer a very smooth ride. The second row seat is very spacious and can fit any size adult comfortably. However, third row seating are good enough for anyone 5'8 and under which is more recommended for kids only for best comfort. The front cabins however offer very generous amount of space for anyone to be real comfortable even on a long road trip. Not to mention the great leather upholstery material it offer as well as premium wood trims and silver aluminum trims throughout. And here is a second look to the back. 
Now let's jump into the front passenger seat and see how it is in the front. So like I mentioned earlier, it is really comfortable in the front. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the new 2017 GLS 550 video. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know how you guys like it. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review. And I'll see you guys next time.